Hello everyone. In the previous video, I have explained and I have showed how to use APO stat, uh, how to source the data from APO stat. In this video, I will show how to source data from USDA PSD. USDA stands for United States Department of Agriculture and PSD for Production, Supply and Distribution. Uh, USDA PSD is almost like a similar data set they supply for free, like um, FAO stat, but in a limited form. For example, it has only a few options, USDA PSD, but this data set is very updated. It's always one can get updated information, particularly the latest data information. So let's see how to search data in USDA PSD. Uh, let me go to this um, website and uh, let me share you. Uh, let me share the screen. New screen. I'm sharing the screen. And I'm writing here. Let's say I'm writing USDA PSD. So you PSD online, you can see this search result. I'm clicking on that. And it it has taken to a new site. Here is written graphical query or custom query. So if you want to get data for your research or dissertation or for professional journal article, and you want to do some time series analysis or some econometric analysis or data analysis, let's click on custom query. And a new screen has come. You see from here that all commodities, so commodity name, which commodity we want to uh, get information. So let's say we want to get information on wheat. And the moment we click wheat, the attributes has come. For example, area harvested, beginning stock, ending stock, production stock, all those things. So let's say we are interested to see the domestic consumption at the same time, yield, and the area harvested. We'd like to see for all country, if you want to see this whole world, you can say whole, all countries or if you want to select a specific country, if you are interested to do your research for a specific country, select a specific country. For example, let's say Australia is one of the largest wheat producing country in the world. So I'm selecting Australia. And now here the data set comes from 1960 to 2023. One thing I'd like to clear here that 2023 is mostly like their uh, estimation. It's not the real data set. They estimate that every year this USDA PSD, they, co they conduct an estimation using some econometric approach and they put this information here. So let's select from 2022 to 1960, the information on wheat area harvest, domestic, domestic consumption and yield of Australia we'd like to see. After selection of all those things, what do we want? We would like to click on run query. Data is uh, getting ready. It's taking some time. And share you the screen. This is the data set actually we have got. So you can see from here that uh, from 1960 onward to 2022, the data on area harvest, domestic consumption, and yield of Australia of wheat are available now. If you are not happy with this one, you can go simply go back to back to query and you can make a new query and you can pick data. But let's say we're happy with this one. And now I'd like to download this data. So the moment I click download, if I say download, and the data is actual download here, let me share you. Uh, this is the data set, but please bear me. Yeah. Um, This is the data set on Australia, wheat area harvested, domestic consumption and yield from 1960 to, uh, to 2022. So in this way, one can perform custom query in USDA PSD and one can get uh, their required data. Uh, it is free and this data set is really rich. Uh, thank you very much for giving me a patient hearing. Uh, in the next video, uh, I will explain uh, some other two important and uh, very interesting websites from where you can also source data. Thank you.